what's up everyone? I'm driving. Actually on the highway. I'm driving to a church. Uh, I talked to the pastor yesterday and he's got some mold problems. I'm gonna go check it out. But it's about 25 minutes away. That's 50 minutes of driving for me. So I hope it is worth it. Anyway, wish me luck. So I have arrived. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is right here by the church's front door is some mole activity. but my camera um, microphone does not like it. So I'm gonna walk around some more and see if I can find some more mole activity. But first I'm gonna step on this stuff. Okay, so I'm here uh, quite a bit away from the church and at my second spot, I'm seeing a, a lot of mole activity but I am not seeing a mole move, so I guess I'm gonna have to step on it. You never really wanna just come up to surface tunnels and just start stepping. You really want to observe for about five minutes and check it out first to see if they're moving, so you don't have to come back. But I'm gonna have to come back, and the problem, man, the grass is so dense, the ground is kinda hard, so I don't know. We'll see, I'll check on it later. I stepped on. Hopefully I'll see something moving. But we'll see. Okay, so the mole did come back and he just came up and pushed the dirt up in two spots. So I, I, I'm not seeing a move. And um, I have no idea where he is, if he's still there. Um, so I'm going to go back to my second spot and go check on that. over here. Unbelievable.
Unbelievable. Okay, okay, okay. I'm at my second spot. Um, I came over here. I didn't see any movement at all, so I walked down towards the street by a ditch, and I saw more, more, more mole activity by the ditch, and I walked back up, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw this booger moving underneath a lot of grass, and I can't believe it. But whew, what we have here is a male. I don't know if you can see the orange color on his muzzle. But, and he stinks, he's letting off a scent. It smells like a dirty armpit. And um, he's really hard to hold here. He's trying to get out. But yes, quit. Ah, there we go, there we go. Woohoo! I'm happy. I'm happy to get you, you little blighter. Yes, you little blighter, yes you are. Oh yes you are, you wanna kiss me? Mm -hmm. Wow. Here we go. I'm excited. And as you can see from the uh, dirt here, can you see that? The dirt was so much softer than I thought. Okay, time to go get the bucket and clean this mess up. Oh gosh, it just stinks so bad. Actually, while I'm up here, I'm gonna go check on the front of the church again real quick. Okay, just check the front of the church. There is one small spot where a mole did come back up, but now I'm back here at the second spot. Got the molar here. And I have some dirt. I'm gonna put some of the dirt in the bucket. I just want some of it because it, the mole gets really stressed out if you can't get under something and hide, you know. So I'm just gonna do that. All right, cool. Way cool. Tell you what, that was pretty fun. Caught that blighter. It's a really hot day too. And I am stopping here at this gas station to get me something to drink for my drive home. I gotta get my Mountain Dew fix if you know what I mean. Voltage. All right, I am on my way to my mom and dad's. That's right. That's right, baby. I'm gonna try to scare her with the mole again like I always do. She's a big chicken. But she just got, she just had surgery two days ago on her arm, so she might not be in the mood. And who cares, right? It's all about the mole in the video. We don't care about other people. Okay, I'm at my mom's house. Uh, she was outside when I got here, so I acted like I didn't have a mole. But now I went back out to my car. And I'm getting the molar. And hopefully I can scare her with it.
Daddy. You're a pooper. Yeah, here I'm on my arm. You're gonna make me jerk my arm or something. How'd you know I hit a mole? Because I knew you were. Because you were too worried about coming up here. Oh. Oh, scared Dad with it. He knows that. Uh...